Hello folks, and welcome back to Survival Challenge, here on No Man's Land. And uh, boy, we have got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, so now we're in April, we've officially hit that 12 million pound mark. Turn time's up to time two for now, so... First of all, we got some bits to sell, so... Some missing bits, including the harvester. Yeah, we bought that cheap second hand. But, yeah... Let's just go and sell it. So, there we go. Sell and sell. So, yeah, it's almost 103 grand for that. We've got this filled up with diesel. Well, 50,000 in here, which is just enough for the our fuel tank. And we did souls our old tankers we had about now. And going with this one, because obviously it's a bigger capacity than that. So, yeah. What's going to be the goal for this episode? Weed work needs to be done. And um, yeah, I wish we'd done the preventive spray in the last episode. But here's what it is with that. I'm not too worried. We'll start off doing that. And actually, if we have a look here, there's only a couple of bits I've missed doing the preventive spray. So overall, the sugar beet field there ain't too bad. Grass that be ready to mow next month. However, I am tempted to leave that for the time being because, as you may have seen, we have bought some bales because we're out of food. And yeah, I got 400,000 years of storage, but I want to save that for TMR production and all that. And just yeah, oh, yeah I have been very busy as well. As you see, I've literally got every piece of equipment back. Always in storage, always being washed in service and topped up with fuel. We sold the, the old bakery that we had, not the old bakery, the old dairy station over here. Tie up the yard area a bit here. And then as we go around here, I got rid of like, some of the excessive pallet storage. Got another shed down and put one more pallet storage here. In fairness, with all the big bags we're using for all of our stuff, I don't think it's needed anymore, but I have kept it anyways, just in case. And yeah, try to see if we can sort out the manure situation, but I'm guessing we still produce manure from these cow pens, so uh, here's what it is with that. But yeah, we need to feed these cows now because they're out of food. Right now, sometime near the hours some morning. There we go. Right, so I'm topped up with food. Now what we need to do is give them some, some straw. And we'll do that over here. But yeah, weed work needs to be in. Also, the vineyards, as most likely was going to be the food is X amount of money we're going to be spending on the vineyard, so I've gone in and enabled some mods and that, so like the Oxbow DLC, Vineyard Pack, and several other stuff. So I just want to have a look at what our options are. As uh, so I actually hit the dongle off my PC tower there. If you're that ooh, sound. So yeah, straw is topped up. So yeah, we'll just go and back that up, uh, like so. So yeah, actually how much milk and all that stuff we've got? 15,000 years of milk and a little bit of slurry, so... I think we'll use the slurry now, because we can do with topping up the... Ah, uh, what's it? The, the, the biogas plant. Strongly forward to that at the moment, but... So yeah, then we get filled up a sec and take it over, then we'll have a look at if there's any more digesting we've got. So let's go and unload Surrey, 53,000 leaves in. And already we're going to have like close to 800,000 leaves, so I'll say well, that ain't too shabby. So let's go over to, actually yeah, we'll go to the close because we also, it's a good time to start with those. Also, I noticed there is an excess amount of fabric, so... Because we're producing fabric from here. 
But when we put wool and cotton, we get fabric wool and fabric cotton. So it's not just fabric. So yeah, we're getting an excessive amount of fabric here. Well, in fairness, I didn't even really notice until I started looking at our production to that. Because we've got an excessive amount of, yeah, 18,000 litres of this stuff. So, yeah, let's go and whack that on. So, yeah, we've got 56,000 litres of clothes and 18,000 litres of fabric to sell. So, best price or best place to sell those. We are at the best price for them. So, go in and have a look. Make a quick buck here, so best place sell everything container. Right, stop checking. Yep, sell every container in here. So we're gonna get a lot of money from this. And a fairness, I think combined with the digestate and this we're selling, that may just cover our expenses for the vineyard. Because, yeah, I suspect we're going to spend like, at least £2 million on the vineyard. Not a shadow of a doubt, £2 million quid. Oh, yeah, and I'm not joking when I see that, so... There we go. Let's get that down. Oh, for freak's sake. That is 53 grand. Ah, uh, we'll sell the rest of this here, like so. So that is, yeah, wow. Just over a mil there, like 1,048,000. So yeah, not too bad. I would definitely cover our expenses, I think, for the vineyards. Especially when we combine that with the digestate. So that was 10 grand. And we'll get a additional of how much? 140 grand, so yeah, overall just from those 1.2 mil. I'll say, in fairness, that ain't too bad. Then we've got the digestate as well to sell, so we'll go to that. So there we go, we are filled right. Yeah, we are filled, so let's go and sell this. And whilst I is selling, uh, because it's going to take some time for that to sell, so Aussie may look at around 900 grand we'll get from that, about 875 ish, give or take. So, yeah, let's go and feed the cows. We got a bunch of bells like what's that, 8, 16, like 24 bells or so. I think we've got enough bells here, I think. Get them in though. Ah, it's like literally too high. Well, one high technically, but yeah, it's like the trigger point is here. There we go. Just whacking the bells in. But some of these are liftable ones. Yeah, these ones are heavy. They're heavy ones. They're the heavy ones. And. Yes, yeah, so actually these two rows here at the front is... Dang it! We had like three high rather than four high. We've had no issues whatsoever, but... Oh well, here's what it is. Like, I'm guessing some of it's going in, so... Something, I guess? All I'm going to do is do a cheeky reset, well, just get rid of it. So yeah, all those bells I heard just going boom 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 in. Ah yes, it's got so many bells over there. We'll leave a bunch of bells here, so yeah, like bang on a million quid we just got there from all of that silage, so yep, I am happy with that, so now we're at 14.3 million quid. 
I think it's time to have a look at the vineyard, so let me sort these bells off camera a sec. And then we'll go over to the vineyard area. And here we are. This is going to be our brand new vineyard area, so I am very excited about this. And do we have access to 23? Yes, we do. So, yeah, this is going to be a huge video. So, up through 3, and even up along 23 to a certain point, of which where I do not know, but also we need safe space for productions. So, yeah, I want this it to be over here like the whole production system because you get the vineyards I'm gonna go straight ahead north and then eventually it's gonna go down here how far down I do not know and there's gonna be causing some problems I know with the workers with actually do we want it to go down there because it's gonna go up elevation so Maybe we'll leave it at that, so but yeah, we'll sort it from over here, so the fingers are going there. Actually maybe worth sort of putting some of these productions down, so actually what let's do that, so at the moment we're at fourteen point three mil, so if we remember that and it's rain. Pretty sure most of the wood stumps have been removed, so, so yeah, I just wanted to just cut into this slope here a little bit. Yeah, I just want to just do a little cut going across. That's part of the reason why we cut down these trees in the first place was to just have a area for us to do what we need to do and yet there are some stumps here we forgot lovely there we go just cut it all back and yeah it's pretty much leveled here so I'm not too worried about that but yeah just get it all cut down there we go then we want to soften the terrain. Oh yeah, there's like... Maybe if we try to do it like that. There we go. Something like that. And then we just soften it all back down. So yeah, so far it's not really cutting into the budget, but this is going to be the easy part. This is going to be the cheapest thing we'll do today, so... But yeah, something like that, I am happy with. Yes, it's cut far enough back, so... Now we want to place down a texture, so... I'm thinking dark gravel, maybe? Oh yes, let's do dark gravel, so... Obviously, I'll touch up like, the surrounding areas and that, like... Put actual grass and that, or even rock against the wall. Fair enough, I think... Like, rock and stones makes more sense, so... so yeah, there we go. So we'll get a rough line down, so... I think, again, if we get away with... Come out to here and come back down. Like so. There we go, that is aligned. And yeah, if we get that rock texture in, so. No, you don't want to have stay rain thing. Rock, so. There we go. Yeah, I know it doesn't look. Uh, the best, but we'll touch it up, I said, later on, so, but yeah, I just want to make this look proper nice, I think, proper nice and detailed. So yeah, now let's do the production, so, 
It's going to be all a part of the great production. Which I think we've already gone past it. No, we haven't. It's just over here. So, yeah, all of these to a degree we're putting down. So, the bottling plant, yes. Actually, for this, I will turn my markers on because I need to know where everything's going to be at. So, so yeah, we'll go back into our productions. There we go. So, yeah, it's going to be... There's like, there some huge ones also we need to put down. So, not the packing facility stuff. Not the BGA, like... There we go, so... The great processing building. That is going to be huge. So, it all goes in there. So, or something like that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Good entrance there. Maybe we cut this back a bit more, you know, give us a little bit of a loop around. That's if we want to do that. So, that's the great process process and building so we're gonna get grape juice and some other bits so closely we can get the great processing unit and I think in fairness we're gonna need a lot of these so yeah I'm thinking something like that there because we're gonna have a ton of grapes to process so there we go. Of course, we don't need both. Uh, maybe. Actually, do we need both? Or is it just the looks that's different? Because if it's the looks, then. In fairness, I prefer the older one. Doesn't match, I know, with the rest of the productions, but this is a separate unit, so. Yeah, it's literally. Just Wait a minute, it is the same, right? 200, 250, 150. Yes, yeah, exactly the same, so... Actually, you know what? I am going to... Yeah, I do like the older one, but... Yeah, let's stick with the older one. Yeah, I know we just lost 100 grand on that, but... So what? So yeah, with that done... We got the great processing built in, like, oh, uh, yeah, and he started deflecting some of these mods, so. Got that. Do with the oil mill. I know we get other stuff from the other facilities coming over, but. Yeah, something like that. Just reverse it in. Yeah, reverse it in and it spawns out there so there we go next we need the spinnery and tear store so again in and out here so actually you know what let's do a little quick time lapse here of me getting this all sorted placed down and a little bit of detail work and then we'll have a look at where we stand afterwards and purchasing new equipment.
go, so about, what was it, already a million pound we spent on this, so, yeah, we got everything down, admittedly some minor touches, like, again, with the treats of stumps and that, will be dealt with at another time, but yeah, so we got our great processing plant, we got, uh, what was it, the oil mill and that, yeah, the oil mill there, then we've got the spittery, we've got the tea store and that. And yeah, we've even got a little side that we can store any excess grapes. Just in case, for whatever reason, we do actually have excess grapes after all of this. And at the end, let's just attach a little pallet storage in that. Okay, a little bit of grass in there, but apart from that, all good. And also, we've got our bottom plant so we can get some premium grape juice so yeah that's that and now we need to look at the equipment so first of all the big one the harvester a variety of options we've got the browd the new Holland one but yeah we've got other ones we've got this one apart from the oxbow dlc pack we've got a harvester over the harvester or a Multi row sprayer. Hmm. But yeah, I think capacity wise, looking at fairly similar. But yeah, let's go something a bit different than that. So, something that I haven't used before. Let's go with the Oxbow 6030. I am interested about that though, as well. So yeah, that's going to cost us 245 grand. Fair enough, so that's going to be the main one. Next is great technology, so we're going to need this. The Basically the thing we use for a pruner. I've seen Dagwin using, oh what was it, this one here. One at the front and one at the back. But yeah, let's get this one. You can do two with the same hitch system. Oh, this is a pull behind harvester. It is. So, if you do struggle, then maybe you have a look at that. Do you want a tipper? Nah, I'm oh, not sure. But yeah, we'll go with the mulcher, right? We'll look at that later on, but spraying. Actually, is there anything we've got under sprayers here that is suitable? So, really, yeah, it's going to be that. Or should I not that? So, where is it to? Actually, is it part of the Hardy Pack? The little one you get for the vineyards? Uh. Cannot find it. Thought it'd be under vineyards actually. What we can do. Now nah, I've already got one do so. All we need to do is go back under great technologies. This one here. The Hardy Mercury. That's the one I want. Frigate. Unreal capacity. And yeah. Go with red and grey. Actually, you know what? let's go with a dark grey or slightly lighter dark grey. And wheels, we'll go with jet black. So, yeah, that's that, that's that. But yeah, now we need a subsoil of that and mulcher. So, I do want to gamble with this one here, the Elite. 270. But will that actually be big enough actually? Maybe worth just using this. You know what frigate would we'll do that? Go with new colouring. Notice we're going a bit of a reddish themed here, so Actually, for our tractor, we can go red. 
But yeah, also we need a subsoiler, so... Um, dang it, there was one I did download, but... Okay, I guess for now we'll go with this. Any difference? Just additional disc and that, so... Frigates, we'll go with that for the time being. And yeah, we've got Subsoyer, we've got the Mulcher. Should we under plows? Nope, so yeah, I think now that is everything. Actually, apart from a trader, so if we go to our own tools and that. Yep, they take grapes and that, so take grapes, anything else? Nope. Actually, it'll be under if you do it this way. We also need a tanker as well. And also some polyester and that. You know what? Fine, we'll do that. Go with a chrome. Black wheels, because we need that Pacific trader, so. That is an additional 386 grand, so so far we spent about 1.35 mil, give or take, so now the actual vineyards themselves, so yeah, this is going to be hectic, so yeah, I want to go along here, not worry about workers need to turn around here for the sugar cane and that, so it's gonna be under orchards. I'm not gonna go cheap. Something like that. Yep. Yeah. Actually, is there snapping on? There we go. Poor snap twos on. And literally, I want to go as long as we can. Oh, what are you hitting? Don't tell me it's a stupid tree stump. Oh, it's a bloody log. Oh, bear with me a sec. There we go, that is removed. So, yeah. Back to where we were doing. So, back on the orchards. Figure out that start point again. Because, yeah, we also need to figure out what spaces for turnaround. So, is that enough space for it to turn around? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I'm purely guessing here, so... I think we really established that side was like 33 grand, give or take. Actually, we can go a lot farther than that, so... I'm going to say we don't own the lands. Unless we're like literally on the line, maybe, so... Actually, what I'll do is put that there. That's three, four grand, so just buy that. Pick it, so now we should be able to continue this, right? So, yeah, enough space on that side for the equipment, so I think this is what we want, right? There we go, so how far can we go? So, like up to here, so I'll see there. Yeah, maybe we can do one more. Now, let's go there. Now, how long is a full row? Oop, too far. 48 grand. Oh, this is going to be very expensive, so you know what? Let's do either a jump cut or a time lapse, so yeah. Maybe a bit too jump. I'll, I'll try to record a time lapse, but you see what I'm doing here. We're, we're going to go this all the way across here, so yeah, it's going to be a fairly huge vision here, so yep. Yeah. I'll get all this done, 
and I'll see you folks in a few moments or a few seconds. go we are done and oh boy was that a pain to do well, it took so long to do and I think was it about three quarters in yeah about three quarters maybe about 85 percent in yeah I was getting like massive huge lag spikes of just placing the vines so I'm not sure if the vineyard's going to stay the size it is, but overall, what we was on, like 14.3 mil? Was it 14.3 mil? So, wait a minute. Have we just spent like 5 mil on the vineyard and. Oh, again, free ring drops. We're lagging. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, do not tip. Yeah, we was on like something like 14.3 mil, so... Yeah, we just spent, well, 5 million pounds on his vineyard. I came to see 100 grand was wasted on the production chain that I didn't need. Yeah, this is that year's analysis. I'll see how this performs in that, but... I think maybe down the road. There we go. But yeah, I think maybe down the road. We're gonna have to do something about it. But yeah, also a part of that was also buying two cheap tractors. These were about 60-ish grand each, give or take. So, there we go. But yeah, these are big enough for us. This is more than what we need. And fairness, I should fill this up actually off fertilizer. Because we're going to the PDA. It needs to be ploughed. Lovely. And these that second application off fertilizer. Some bits it's already got no fertilizer, but most of it needs a second application. Oh wait a minute, how did this guess? Ah, uh, yeah, that was because obviously we forgot to run out fertilizer for this, so. Yeah, we should have put fertilizer in this, but oh well, we'll have two of that in the bit. Ooh. That's very tippy all of a sudden. Anyways, we'll get this unloaded. And that's why we went with the silo, because it comes with this little handy shed. And this should it can fit all of our equipment in here, so. There we go. 
go, just reverse, park it in. <laughs> yeah, I think I know my PlayStation ain't liking all this because at the moment I'm not sure if it's coming from the mic. If it does, I will try and prove it going forward, but it's like absolutely screaming at me, the PlayStation at the moment, so yeah. Yeah, these are little handy tractors for us, so we'll go back on to some fries and work. However, I just want to do just a quick test, see if this is big enough, two meters is this, so... Because can we get away with something like two and a half meters or something? But yeah, like this is a huge vineyard, like... The longest one, the longest bits were 55 grand, so we're up to about here onto plot 23. Didn't go too much further, and then eventually we just start shaving it back. Got rid of some of the trees and that as well. Yeah, just cut it back a bit. And yeah, this is gonna be a, a lot of grapes for us, like, seriously. I've never seen anyone do a vineyard this size before. I'm not sure why we're getting these bits here, like... Because... If we have a look here... Ah, this is where uh, the vineyard may used to be there, perhaps. Could be... That is a certain possibility, but... Like... Doing this thing in the yard is going to take forever to do, so... If we blew it down... We're subsoiling. Yeah, we certainly can go bigger than this, like... And actually also, do we even have enough power? 90 horsepower. I uh, may need the Landini actually. Bear me a sec whilst I swap tractors. There we go. Got Landini. Technically, that should have been fine, but. Yeah, for whatever reason, I was having issues struggling. Oh, this uh, can only do 3 miles an hour. What? Don't tell me this can only do three miles an hour now. You've got to be kidding me. This can only do it at three. I mean, three miles an hour. And we've got to do. Nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. That ain't happening. I should have that spec. In fairness, it's on on me. But yeah, you need one. Seven miles an hour. Uh, bear me a sec. Whilst I figure this out. So, there we go. And also, I thought, try another tractor that I was looking at. And in fairness, I was meant to purchase this, but... Yeah, it's completely missed it. And it's the fear... What was it Fiat Tagri? But yeah, it's basically just a tank of a tractor, pretty much. And I've got a two and a half meter subsoiler, so I'm hoping this works. There we go, that's better. And it does it at seven miles an hour. Of course, it being a track. It is very sensitive with steering that. And yeah, it does, it does have that little sound to it, like... Just listen to it. Oh, that is nice to hear. So yeah, this is a lot better. At the moment, I've even got this on lease. But yeah, the subsoil is 100 miles an hour. And the Landini is 112, so... I you shouldn't have any issues pulling it. And I may go back to Landini because, yeah. Try not. Yeah, it's just force of habit of. 
try to go in a straight line. Like, if we open the map in that, if I say, I'll stop here a sec, if I try to get in the line, we're at 0.9 degree. Turn on auto control. Oh. So, was it? Cruise control, whatever. We're at 1.1 degree. Because I'm trying to go straight ahead. The, the vineyard itself is about a degree off. And I'm able to see a scooter to the right. We're at 1.3 degrees now. Doesn't seem to be too many issues with clipping, but yeah, it's just with tracks, it's like super delicate. It is the steering, there is a bit of a delay in how it will respond to that, but yeah, literally, what we now is just spend time literally just cruising with this, put some tunes on, and just cruise around in this to go in the vineyard work. Because this should and solve us the well, help with the plowing issue. Well, it's not a plowing issue, it just needs plowing, simple as that. There we go. Apparently, we've missed bits. How was that because we went a bit swifty there? I wonder. I'll go, I'll go back over those in a bit, but... There we go. We are farming now, so... I think, actually, next episode, that's where we'll focus on the screen now. I think, in the episode here, we'll do one more time lapse of get this 50 yard done. Or at least the most of it done. I was also looking at my control panel, got a bit sideways there. So yeah. To have you missed bits there. Yeah, no, I do not know. I think until we get all this done, or at least a few strips done. Maybe I'll once we get this to the other end, I'll try it with the Landini because Yeah, then the tank. Yeah, it's just super sensitive it is, so fair as I may use the landing on this, but yeah. We'll do the crop stuff and that in the next episode. And yeah, I've saved the game and reloaded it whilst I was enabling the mods now. And touch wood, I'm not having any lag, so. And the PS4 hates sounding like it's about to take off. As quickly, so they get a little bit of fan speed. And yeah, you'll do that, especially with the last gen console, even though it's a PS4 Pro. It still struggles a bit with Farmerson 22. Especially when, you, like me, having tons of mods on, and just like things like this. Like, in fairness, this has gone over the top here. And just checking again, make sure everything's all plowed. Apparently you missed bits there, it was like, seriously, I don't know what we're missing, but yeah. I'm waffling on now, let's get this done, and I'll see you folks, well for you folks it'll be about 2-3 minutes, my time will be about half an hour or so, so yeah. Let's get this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
here we go. We are pretty much finally done with the Plowneer, and as you may have seen, we've swapped tractors. So we've gone with this one here. I'm not sure it's this one. 6205 T55. Because you have to you know, explore with different pieces of equipment, different plows and that. And I'm finding a lot easier with this one. It's better horsepower. This one can have up to like around 200 and something horsepower. Yeah, something like that give or take. And that has helped with this because we have been doing this for a while. I think, what, we started this just after 12, so about three and a half hours, about three and three quarters hours, give or take. So almost four hours to get all of this done, like, seriously, it took a lot of work. Also, we've got the fertilizing done. Why well, not include that in the time lapse? I can't remember, but yeah, everything's been fertilized, and yeah. And this is going to be the last bit of the plowing, so there we go. And also, to quickly see before we end the episode here on a bit of preventive spraying, like as we learned with the other fields. So if we have a look here, if we turn our field info back on, at the moment we are at 95% yield bonus. And yeah, we've got weeds growing herbicide in that, but. No plow requirements and it's all being fully fertilized. So if we look at the PDA, let the map update. Yeah, it seems to be a bit where we've missed, but I don't think I need to worry about that because, like, go down here and that. Right, where it says has it been plowed. I'm guessing where it says it has been plowed is this should the gaps in between the vines. So. Actually, that's all been taken care of. And if we turn our frozen on, for the most part, it has been done. I think what we'll do is, when these starts coming in over the coming months, we'll go over again with the fertilizer spreader, just to make sure everything's fully fertilized, because, yeah, if we go up here, there we go. Like fifty-eight percent. So yeah, obviously some bits will need application. But yeah, I think did a quick math. Like how much have we done here? We've done eight point eight five hectares of it says cultivation, but that was a quality plow almost. So actually that means we're gonna get a lot of grapes in this because grapes yield about 9,200 litres per thousand litres that's not including the yield bonus or anything so I think we're looking at around maybe what 140,000 litres from these give or take that's gonna be a lot of yeah it's gonna be a huge amount of there. That's if the math is correct. I think bare minimum, we're looking at around 9,200 litres plus, or times by 9 basically. That is, yeah, about 81,000 litres, about 80 ish, let's say, for the sake of it. Plus the yield bonus, so. Yeah, potentially we can get upwards to about 160, 150, 160,000 litres. Yeah, that ain't too bad. So yeah, we sell the old, this one here, no, not the old. It always says the old, but yeah, we get rid of the plow and this one, because yeah, don't really need it, so. There we go. Just to recuperate some of that money back. So yeah, overall, total money we spent on this episode is about 5 mil. Because yeah, we started off with about 14.3 mil-ish, give or take. So yeah, this was a 5 million pound vineyard. And let's see if we get 140,000 litres of grapes. What is the price of grapes now? And when's that its peak price? So... 
that's the process stuff. Grapes would be up here, right? So yeah, grapes on its own. Yeah, not a lot. But it's all about the production, so things like the raisins and grape juice. They go up exponentially. Now if we go down and look at the other stuff we got as part of the grape production. So grapeseed oil get about six thousand pounds per thousand liters. So yeah, prices for that ain't too bad. Also things like the must and the polymers, that's for additional products in the production chain. So yeah, look at that shoes and that. Fifteen grand almost for shoes, so go to our productions here to get shoes. We'll need a two to one for the Leverite. And we'll need grape must and polymers. The polymers we buy. That is out. Also we've transferred some wool over, so we'll get that going to make some clothes. So yeah, if we use this to get whatever we need, whether it's grape juice or unpackaged grape juice. Actually, what is the ratio for? It's a one to one ratio, it is so. Normal grape juice was it about. Yeah, if we pack these, we're gonna get four grand, so we're getting more money from this compared to your base game productions for grapes. So, yes, yeah, certainly, if we're doing grapes get the, what was it, if I get the actual mod name up here, the, yeah, the great production pack, can't remember who's by, same person who recently released the, uh, what's it, the sugar processing, if I remember the name, I will put it up in editing, but yeah, so, things are really starting to look up for us, I am going to cut through to Sugar King Fields, I mean, like, seriously, like, the scale of everything we're doing, the Sugar King Harvest itself is going to be an extraordinary thing, because, yep, yeah, two meters we can do that. But there is mods and that, so if we look at our Sugar King technology, yep, yeah, with the Homer Terados or the Homer T414 Multi Harvester. We could look at doing this at 5.4 meters and at 12 miles an hour. I'm gonna go with the fast or the unreal. Yeah, I think I'll just keep it as it is, so. But yeah, I know there's other things we can do with the grape, not a lot with grape, but with the harvesting of the sugar king. Yeah, I just can't remember what it is. I need to look it up. But yeah, so let's do a quick test here on does preventive spraying work with the vineyard? So, and this will take us three and a half, four hours because we're doing it at over twice the speed. So, and it's easier to maneuver in that and navigate. So, I think maybe less than an hour, about an hour or so will take to do all of this, but yeah, does this work now, if I do one more strip, and then we can have a little look here, so, it's every other row, so, oof. man, how that thing just picks up in speed, so it's like, it is incredible, it is so, Get this one down here done. It's a bit bumpy in that, but obviously we haven't mulched or anything, so there may be a yield effectness on that, so there we go. Does preventive spring work? 
The answer to that is no. Obviously, the like three or five percent reduce now. And that's from emulsion because obviously you don't roll. Very hard to roll a vineyard. But yeah, so we're looking at the rolling. So we need to wait on for the uh, what's it grapes come in that before we start spraying. But you know what? That's fine. So next time, what we'll do is we'll get this out and start spraying. Bit unfold ready. Yeah, there's a little bit of the sugar beet field we need to take care of where we've missed. And obviously we want to do the cotton before we lose any more potential yield bonus because this is going to affect the yield bonus for sure. Yeah, so that's going to be the downside. So yeah, I think that's where we'll leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel, then please consider. But what you do, hope you're gonna see. But for now, it's been from Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.